Hello everyone. In this video, we will cover up about and positive edge trigger D flip flop using behavioral level modeling in Verilog language. In behavioral level modeling, there are many statements are there if false if case statement and while in for loop all those things. And for here, we will do for and D flip flop using if else statement. Before going to a programming, so let's see what is the operation of a D flip flop. So here I have make a table. If reset is high, it doesn't care about whether clock signal or a D signal. So the output will be zero and zero. If reset is zero and if clock is high, and whatever in the D, it will comes in the output side. It will comes in the output side. So here it will be negation of Q. Negation of Q is a Q bar. And here, if clock is zero once again, it doesn't care about D. It will retain the previous state of output Q and negation of Q. So this is the corresponding root table for the D flip flop. So for this, we will write here programming using if else statement. So before going to if else statement programming, we should know what is the syntax for the if else statement. So in the variable language, if is the keyword where expression uh, where we can give the condition condition for the if and then we can give the corresponding single statement. If we use multiple statement, we should put it over in the between begin and end statement. In the third case, we have given if and else. So if begin and end multiple statements, else begin and end multiple statements. The last one is if else if. So here we have used a single statement else if between begin and end we have used multiple statements. That now we will do for programming using different flop. So for first one, module is the keyword. Module is the keyword, and we are going to perform the flip flop using if else. So the output is Q, Q bar, and the inputs are D, clock, and reset. The input are D, clock, reset, and the outputs are. The outputs are Q and Q bar. So always in the behavioral modeling, we should declare the outputs as a register uh, because to hold up a value for next statement. So Q and Q bar. So once we have declared everything, uh, we can go to statement. So always at we are doing for positive trigger. So pos edge is a keyword positive edge of clock signal. So whenever the clock goes positive, it will comes inside the loop. It will comes inside the loop often always. So now here uh, we will use if reset is equal to reset is equal to 1. If reset is equal to 1, then the Q will be zero and q bar will be zero so here since we have used multiple statement we should give it in the begin and end right in begin and end begin end else else begin Q is equal to D because what happened whenever clock is positive only it comes inside the loop. So we know the truth table right. So whenever the clock is positive, whenever the clock is positive, Q is equal to D. Q is equal to D and whenever clock is zero, it will return the previous state. So here we are giving this statement as a Q is equal to D and Q bar is equal to negation of Q and end your begin and end module so now uh, we will copy this program and we will put it over in the 
xilinx and we will see how it comes so we have copied so here the inputs are d clock and reset the outputs are and register and then we have detected the positive clock and if reset is one and it will give the begin of q is equal to zero and q bar is equal to zero else q is equal to d and q bar is one which not so for this we should try the test bench so the test bench is created so here the inputs are d clock and reset at first time d is equal to zero and clock is equal to zero and reset is equal to zero after 100 seconds 100 nanoseconds reset is one if reset is one the output must be zero and then if reset is equal to zero and if d is equal to one when clock goes positive the output will be d and the last case d is equal to zero so i have given some three different cases in this case the reset is high in this case d is equal to one and in this case d is equal to zero and then as usual the clock will be keep on changing for every 50 nanoseconds let us see the output of your d flip flop positive trigger d flip flop so here in this graph we can infer at first point you can see in the, in the left hand side we can see the reset is equal to zero so it is always operates on positive edge trigger in the program we have given positive edge clock so once clock goes positive once clock goes one okay so once clock goes one reset is zero reset is zero so no problem so what happens here yeah so the reset becomes one once the reset becomes one then what happens the q is equal to zero and the next positive edge clock the output changes q is equal to zero and q bar is equal to zero and then in the keep on moving clock is equal to zero so now we can see once clock is positive once clock is positive and d is equal to one so the output is q is equal to d so we, we can see here q is equal to d so d is one and q also one q bar is negation of q it is zero and then the last case is we have given d is zero so d is zero but clock is still zero so the output doesn't change the output doesn't change the q is one and q bar is zero so once clock goes positive once clock goes positive then we can see the change of change of output the d has been transferred to the q so the q becomes zero and d is zero and q is equal to zero even though d has been changed before itself since clock is zero it retains the previous state the previous state is one so it has been retained over here so whereas here once clock changes to positive when the clock is positive the always loop executor once the always loop executor q is equal to d so that where whatever is in the d it comes to the q so this is how we can execute the and positive edge trigger d flip flop using if else statement. Thank you.